Welcome to today's Wasabi live stream lesson. I'm Nikki. Today we will go over how to say to wear, to put on in Japanese. Unlike English, Japanese has a variety of verbs that mean to wear, to put on. Depending on body parts and what items you're describing, you have to use different verbs. Towards the end of the lesson, we will briefly go over how to say to take off as well. みなさんこんばんは。今週もわさびライブストリームですね。ようこそ。みきです。今週は日本語でと to take off をあらわす動詞を一緒に見ていきましょう。First, 着る。着る。着る can be used for items on three things. Items on the upper body such as t-shirts, clothing that touches your shoulders like dresses and the term pajamas. To wear a t-shirt is t-shirtを着る。also, a dress in Japanese is one piece. So, to wear a dress is one piece wo kiru. And to wear pajamas is pajama wo kiru. Here we use the particle o. Since it marks a direct object in a sentence, the direct object that receives the action of the verb is the noun right before o. So the sentence structure is object, o, and verb. Next verb is used for mainly for items on your lower body, haku. The verb haku describes the action that you put on your feet through an item like jeans, pants, a skirt, uh, shoes, and socks. Let's look at examples. So jeans in Japanese, it's jipan, which comes from the English term jeans pants. Therefore, to wear a pair of jeans is jipan wo haku. Jipan wo haku. To wear pants, or in British English, to wear trousers, zubon wo haku. To wear a skirt, skato wo haku. To wear a pair of shoes, kutsu wo haku. To wear socks, kutsu shita wo haku. Okay, so the next verb is kaburu. Kaburu. The term kaburu itself has a meaning, has the meaning of covering something. For example, a yard uh, covered in snow is yuki wo kabutta niwa. When you cover your head with a hat or even a wig, you use the term kaburu. A hat is boshi. So, boshi wo kaburu. As for wigs in Japanese, there are two different uh, two different words, katsura and wig. So katsura is the type of wigs that are for actors, dolls, and wigs that are used in less fashion related context. On the other hand, wig usually refers to fashionable and trendy ones. So to wear wigs is wig wo kaburu or katsura wo kaburu. For glasses, sunglasses or shades, we use the verb kakeru. Kakeru is to hang, so you hang glasses on your ears and your nose bridge. To wear glasses, megane wo kakeru. To wear sunglasses or shades, sunglasses wo kakeru. Also for small accessories like watches, necklaces, ties, gloves, rings, simply use the verb suru. Although each has its own verb that goes with it, uh, suru can be used with no problems in conversation. Tokeo suru. 
to wear a watch, and necklace をする to wear a necklace, ネクタイをする to wear a tie, 手袋をする to wear gloves, and 指輪をする to wear a ring. And for perfume, perfume or cologne, つけるは使われます。つける is to stick something. The kanji for this verb is つける。And the left side of this kanji is,、uh, describes a, a person, 人。And the right side is a hand. This symbolizes the act of sticking a material onto something else. So, 香水をつける。To wear perfume or cologne. For example, do you like someone who wears cologne? 香水つけてる人好き I wore too much perfume today. 今日香水つけすぎた Now that we've learned how to say to wear in Japanese, let's briefly go over how to say to take off. It's easier than remembering to wear and to put on. For all the clothes, for upper body and lower body, as well as shoes, socks, hats, wigs, we use the term nugu. I take off a jacket. Jacket to nugu. I take off shoes. Kutsu o nugu. And as for accessories such as glasses, watches, gloves, the term hazusu is used. So to take off glasses, megane o hazusu. To take off a tie, nektai o hazusu. To take off a scarf, scarf o hazusu. Well, that's all for today. We've covered quite a few grammar to explain how to say to wear and to, to take off in Japanese. But please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next week. Bye! ご視聴ありがとうございました。それではまた来週。さようなら。